Uh, my name is John Cool. I've been at the Ontario College of Art and Design University since 1974. I'm a tenured um, full-time assistant professor and have been that for as long as I've been here. When I was hired to teach, there was very little uh, at the school in terms of motion picture production. So there was no equipment, there was no gear, and there were, I think, six students enrolled in the, in the class. I walked in on Monday morning uh, aware that I was just filling in for somebody and I was going to be teaching film and there was no equipment, there was no lighting, uh, and I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't there to teach the history of film, I was there to teach production. And I went through some magazines and pulled out some posters uh, of lighting gear and stuck them on the wall in the classroom so that it had this sort of semblance of, uh, of, of, of production. I started to introduce myself, John Cool. I'm working freelance and I'm here too. And as I was speaking, Shalevet Hillel, who we eventually became really, really close friends, she stood up while I was talking and pulled a Zippo lighter out of her pocket and lit the Zippo lighter pulled the poster off the wall and lit it on fire and walked over to the garbage pail and dropped it in the garbage pail. I didn't understand what she was doing and then she walked over to the second poster and as she was pulling that poster off the wall, I realized what was upsetting her and I had never thought of it before. I had never thought about any kind of sensitivity before. I just worked in a male-driven industry where there were sound men, there was camera men. They were all men. They were all men, and I never thought anything else about it. And for the first time, somebody talked to me about uh, feminist issues. I didn't realize that every one of those posters had a girl in a bathing suit holding the light fixture. That was my first experience to art school and how different art school was from the film industry. That was the first lesson I had. Um, so there was this wonderful collaboration between students and faculty to create art. We had a lot of classes at the Beverly Tavern, and <laughs> sitting around a, a, a table, smoking cigarettes, drinking beer, and writing ideas down on a paper. Yeah, we put together a, I guess it was in the neighborhood of a, a, of a seven or an eight minute short film called Pool Resources that supposedly was under the umbrella of what would be going through perhaps a long distance swimmer's mind as that swimmer was doing the laps in the pool. So we packaged it all up and sent it to the Ontario Underwater Council's film festival. And the only response I got back from them was a letter from the jury saying, what the hell is this? I think because it didn't have goldfish or tropical fish and shipwrecks and stuff in it that they just didn't get it. It's an art film. It's like they missed the point. I would call it, a, it's, it's an emotional high water mark for me uh, when, I, when I think back on the 70s and into the 80s and I think I've been thinking about it. What made those times so special and I can't help but think that one of the things that made it happen was I was much closer to the student's age at that time than, than of course I am now. So to hang out with people that were closer to my age and get involved in their projects uh, with a much greater energy level than, uh, than I could possibly muster today uh, meant there were these magical moments that happened year after year after year for a long stretch. From the very first day I started here, I started learning things. And uh, that has carried on right for 44 years now. I've, every day I come in here, I've learned something new. 6,000 students that I've dealt with, roughly, um, in, uh, uh, in the time that I've been here. And I can remember, not every one of them, but I can remember a whack of them, a lot of them. And I'm still in touch with a bunch of them. And I know probably a hundred, if not more, that I could name almost that quickly uh, of people who have ended up being very, very successful in their careers as a result of what they've done at OCAD. Yeah, to walk into work and see people that I have known uh, ever since I started at OCAD, I've got friends, close friends, that, uh, uh, that uh, yeah, I 
I met as there were students here, and we have a relationship that, that's managed to, to hang on. But, uh, but yeah, for me to be able to walk in and, and see Doug back, I have a picture of Doug back as a kid. Uh, I don't know who drew the mustache on it. Maybe it was me. I'm sorry, Doug. But to hang on, be able to hang on to that sort of memory, yet at the same time bump into Doug on a daily basis and, 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 and just keep kindling that, that friendship is, is really a pretty unique and wonderful thing. It's bothered me the last couple of years that a lot of those people have been uh, retiring and moving on. And I, I, I feel it's my turn as an awful lot of the folks that I've, I've known for a long, long time have started to move. And yeah, I, I, I think it's just about time I did. I'm hoping that I will get replaced by a young, exciting filmmaker. I'm blessed. I'm blessed and I'm awestruck people and the faculty, that, uh, by the students and the faculty that I've met while I've been here. I fell into this institution not knowing what to expect and as a result of being here uh, I have grown personally uh, and emotionally and, and, and uh, uh, with a level of sensitivity to other people's feelings uh, in a way that I am really, really proud of. I go home and I tell my wife about and my friends about the experiences I had this week. And I don't tell them in a, uh, about things that, uh, because it's negative. I talk about how excited I am about what happened this week um, at, at my workplace. And it's just, I'm, I'm blessed to be in that kind of a position. What would be the last thing that I'd want to say? That's a very important question. The most important thing, I guess, is for you to pursue your own, your, your own interests. So if I could encourage people to follow their heart and throw their heart into their work, I think they'll, uh, yeah, they'll end up getting a response, a personal response that is worthy of their efforts. On a non-sort of personal level, I would ask them all to be kind to each other. Thank you.